Welcome back to Special Stage Live from the 2023 Phil Price Memorial Woodpecker Stages Rally. It is round six of the MRF Tyres BTRDA Rally Championship. I'm Paul Woodford. I'm delighted to be joined by Phil Bramall. We're leapfrogging stages again. He's in Kerry and uh, he's had a good morning. It was exciting watching in there. So you've got plenty of live rally action for you all the way um, through your afternoon, we're in stage five once again, Cummins Gowan, and we have got some action to look forward to. But before that, we've got to tell you the story of what's going on because we have got that four-way title fight in the Gold Star. And at the moment, it's a, a two-way fight. Um, Elliot Payne, Tom Woodburn came here knowing that if they took a maximum score, that was it as far as the championship was concerned. Back-to-back -back victories after becoming the youngest ever Gold Star champion in 2022 for Payne in that Mango Go Rally 2 Fiesta. He's uh, Currently in second place, Aaron Newby, 12 seconds up the road with Jamie Edwards in the Skoda Fabia R5, and they were on one this morning. It's not one bit of a surprise to see that Skoda pair out there in the lead, but we lost Matthew Hurst and Declan Deer, didn't we, this morning? Um, we Or last night, actually, when the engine gave up on the car, which was really frustrating for those guys. Uh, Russ Thompson, though, still there in the mix in third place. So at the moment, the... Uh, Gold star goes Aaron Newby, Jamie Edwards in the Skoda. 12 seconds back from them, Elliot Payne, Tom Woodburn. Just managing things, really, as far as the championship is concerned. Um, and we've said this earlier on, Elliot's very good, despite being so young in years and in seat time. He manages rallies very well, so he will know. And, of course, his old man has won a championship here in the BTRDA. He knows how to win a championship, and he did that with consistent pace back then in 2016 with Carl Williamson. So he will be uh, a word in... Elliot's ear as well and I'm sure it's a welcome one and you've got that experience you listen to it and he's managing at the moment that rally could he go all out with blistering pace yeah probably could he take the win here yeah could he he might still Aaron Newby is uh, keeping him honest out there in the front at the moment though in keeping that championship alive we have though lost some notable people from the uh, from the leaderboard Nigel and Kaz Jenkins one of those in the 1400s in the Fuchs Lubricants Bronze Star category, absolutely gutted for them and uh, cast his first retirement of the season. Uh, they were just one second behind the pace of Dave Brick, which, as anybody who has watched any of the Fuchs Lubricants Bronze Star over the years knows, is one heck of a benchmark. Dave Brick out on his local event to be one second behind. Um, you'd take that all day long, and they were doing until uh, their first DNF of the season. So we'll see that. Green NJ Autos. Nova back out for the track rod to uh, hopefully wrap up what they hope will be that bronze star title, but it isn't happening here at the Woodpecker on these mid -Wales stages. Another very disappointing retirement, although not showing yet in the retirements list, is Perry Gardner. Um, Del Bowen alongside, absolutely good for those guys as well. Second rally only this year for Perry. Um, local event and he will be absolutely gutted with that because he was leading the rally convincingly as well. Newby was out there having a bit of a tussle with him and we were looking forward to that three-way fight or four-way fight for the title this afternoon. Um, Perry just fighting for overall honours here today, having only done one of the round this season. But he was runner-up on the event last year and was looking to go one better and was on his way to doing just that. One thing we can say, though, is we've seen that that pace is still there. And if we can get Perry Gardner back out here in the MRF Tires BTRDA Rally Championship, we should have a fight on our hands and we get the young guns out there fighting with some of the old guns as well. We had Hugh Hunter due to make his Forest comeback. Not that he would like me calling him an old gun but uh, he, he was looking forward to coming back and didn't manage to get that off the ground so we would not see him out this weekend um, but the promise is there we will see Hugh Hunter former BTRDA champ back out doing the business as well we need a few more names here next year as well don't we Stephen Petch no doubt he's going to throw his hat in the ring into next year who else will come out fighting well who knows maybe our newly crowned Pro Tire, Motorsport UK, Asphalt Rally Champ will try and add the BTRD8 to his list. Callum Black, I'm talking about, of course, next season, as you see, Richard Stewartson. And Stuart Jones, once again, getting the billing underway here in Cummins Gowan. It is an iconic bit of rally stage. It's been used once already this year on the Rally Nut stages, and it's a, a bit of a driver's favourite. Kerry, the stage after, hasn't been used for decades, Hugh Hunter was saying. He remembers it, using it about 30 years ago uh, when we were talking to him as a pundit on the uh, Rally Keradigion last weekend. Um, one of the really nice things about being out here in the woods is getting to meet 
people who've been out here in the forests for years and have got some really good stories, far better than the stories I can tell. And I've met Des and John and Alan, who's one of our marshals. But Des, you're a local man. You, you say your family are from just over the hill over there. You're six miles down the road in Landrindod, Wales. And you've got some stories of these forests, haven't you? I have indeed, yeah. I can remember being back here in the 60s when we actually did the stage and we were using the Happy Union pub in Abercrombie as a base. And about four minutes before the first car was due, somebody decided to have a, another pint. But that's another story. And then we just had to drive down the road to the kiosk to phone all the results through. Happy days, man. I've been listening to these guys having a load of banter. And I'll tell you what, it must be that the more experience and life experience you get, the better the banter becomes, because these guys have been having a whale of a time out here on the stage. Um, and uh, some of the stories of rallying, I know growing up with rallying myself, it gives you these adventures, doesn't it? And um, it's great to see. I mean, how old are you, Des? You say you're, you're coming up on 80, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah, nearly 80 now, yeah. Still out here enjoying it? I'm still enjoying it, yeah, I'm still enjoying it, yeah. As we, we often say that many of our friends have passed, passed on when we miss them, obviously, but we're still doing it. We get up in the morning, it's another reason for getting up and enjoying it, and let's hope it'll continue. That's what we want. That's what we want as well, <coughs> and we're doing our best, our level best to make sure it is out there, as you see. Daryl Denning and Julia Perry through in the Volvo 244. The other Volvo that we were talking about earlier hasn't made it out onto the stages, which is uh, a little bit frustrating, but great to see that Volvo, right, isn't it? They're built like tanks, and uh, although we don't see many of them rallying over here, as I said earlier, if you do any searches for club rallying in Finland and Iceland as well, actually, there's, there's a ton of those Volvos out there doing the business. Um, nice to see a couple of classic minis. Uh, Des, you've got a mini in the garage as well, and you, you had a business rebuilding minis around here. It's just a rumour, yeah. Many years ago, my late wife and myself, when we took redundancy, we used to re rebuild minis for the kids. It was, it was enjoyable, very enjoyable. That's when they couldn't borrow money from the bank, and they only had the cash in their pocket. It was good. They were like a family to us. And you used to drive your minis around these rally stages, no doubt? I used to drive a little bit, yeah, but I was more interested in navigating and organising and stuff like that, you know. It's, We've been all over the country, as, as you've heard of the, the various stories, going back to the old RAC and all the, all the rounds and, and the Motor News Rally Championships at night. We used to go everywhere. Yeah, Fabulous memories, and it is good to see a couple of minis out here. Alan Young and Ashley Young there in the RS2000 Mark II. Um, the ruts clearly on a second running of these stages um, are a little bit a bigger so those minis will be uh, bouncing around on the sump guard a little bit but we'll, we'll hear those interview very shortly we are as you remember from earlier and as usual we're running the uh, whole of the two-wheel drive field actually today in reverse seeded order before we bring you the gold star as two separate broadcasts so if you're watching on youtube or facebook just be aware that the youtube links that we put out before the event um won't quite be the same links um so if you're looking for the YouTube links and you're clicking on the list of links that we put out before the event, um, you just need to search on YouTube, go to the special stage page. And we had a couple of technical issues, but I'm pleased to say that nevertheless, oh, I'll tell you what, that was nicely done, wasn't it, from Daniel Shalov and Shannon Turnbull, two of our BTRDA Rally First competitors here in the Fuchs Lubricants Bronze Star. So another of our BTRDA retirements, I'm, I'm sad to say, actually, after having a bit of banter last night about his pictures of his micro kit car, and it's always good seeing. He was on one earlier as well. It's Ed James, Charlie Mason, they retired um, with a broken wishbone after stage two. They were pushing on in that micro. Um, disappointed to see that. So the, uh, the fight for the Lu Fuchs Lubricants Bronze Star is a little thin on the ground this afternoon. However, we did talk about that title charge of uh, Nigel and Kaz Jenkins. And what that does mean is it, it opens up the opportunity for some points on the board for those people around them just trying to get in and just try and hang on to that title and uh, just keep it going a little bit longer rather than it getting sewn up at this point. Here's the first of the minis that we mentioned. The minis that we mentioned. This is Terry Cree, Richard Shaw's in the... It's not actually, that's Richard Phillipson, apologies. Brian Kamek alongside in the Austin Mini. We are mixing ranks this weekend with the British Rally Championship. And mixed in with this two-wheel drive field. British Historic. British Rally Championship. Sorry, I meant the British Historic Rally Championship. I'm, I'm still in um, Rally Keradigion mode, clearly, aren't I? Producer Wayne gave me one of those grins that tells me I've said something wrong. I just couldn't work out what it was on this occasion. 
yeah, we've mixed and ranks to the British Historic Rally Championship. So the quickest historic crews in the country out here to do battle on these Mid Wales stages. And uh, we crowned our Pro Tire Motorsport UK Asphalt Rally Champion last week. Will we be crowning our MRF Tires BTRDA Gold Star Champion this afternoon here on the Woodpecker Rally? Let's find out. Terry Cree, Richard Shaws, meanwhile, in their Mini Cooper S, the wine of that straight cut gearbox and the RC40 exhaust, no doubt. Probably a little closer to the uh, ruts on the floor than it was the first way through these stages. But the stages are in good condition, hearing good things on the feedback I'm seeing online from the competitors through the first running. Uh, some pretty remarkable performances in that first loop of the day. Rob Wilson, Richard Crozier, in that Ravenel Mitsubishi Evo 8. Or is it a 7? It's a 7 theirs, isn't it? They're up in 4th, which puts them 2nd in B13. Just 2 seconds as well behind Russ Thompson and Stephen Link. What else did I notice earlier on? Nick Ellsmore still doing the business. Rob Fack alongside. He's rounding out the top 10 in the Evo 9. Putting him 3rd place in that hotly contested B13 class. Um, Robert Proudlock leading the R2 Rally Cup. Currently 14th overall. That's a good overall position from him. This is after four stages after Hay Park. The first running of Hay Park. But the big news as far as the championship is concerned is that Aaron Newby and Jamie Edwards are currently holding Elliot Payne and Tom Woodburn at bay. 12 seconds, the gap at the top, coming into this, the fifth stage of the day, Cummins Gowan. After then, it's Russ Thompson and Stephen Link, just two seconds back from the Rally 2 Fiesta. We've talked all season, well, we've talked for seasons about their pace, and it is remarkable, and they are showing us exactly what I talk about. Giles Armitage, Josh Rhodes giving it a good go in their rally first. Peugeot 205. So yeah, Aaron Newby, Jamie Edwards showing that pace that we've seen from them all year and it really counts here because we've got two rounds left of this MRF tyres BTRDA rally championship and they had one brief, one mission brief today which was they were meant to be sharing that mission brief with Matthew Hurst and Declan Deer, who, as I mentioned earlier, withdrew last night after engine trouble with that Fiesta R5. Bitterly disappointing for them, but they'll be back at the next round. And if Aaron Newby does his job properly, there'll be a fight still to be had at the track rod in Yorkshire in a few weeks' time. So Aaron Newby and Jamie Edwards are nailing that brief so far. 12 seconds ahead of our youngest ever BTRDA champion, looking for back-to-back -back championships here in 2023 and possibly if they can get a wriggle on looking to do it here at the Woodpecker Rally. Chris Gittings, Chris Arnott there in the BMW Compact. There is a book about the woodpecker stages out celebrating 40 years of the event richard pierce has written the woodpecker rally the history and development of the event and it's available now if you are at the finish at ludlow Racecourse later you can pick a copy up there for 30 pounds you can also buy it online if you search for the woodpecker stages rally website the details are on there well worth checking out i would say Lynn Davies, Alad Richards in their RS 1800. Just struggling a little bit on the roots there. Car just tramlining through this hairpin. Don't forget, as well as being live here in Cummins Gowan, the next stage, Kerry, will see Phil Bramwell back live, bringing you action from the Welsh Rally Championship. But that means you'll see all of the competitors through these stages twice each 
four live stages here today from the Phil Price Memorial Woodpecker Stages Rally, round six of the MRF Tires BTRDA Rally Championship. We hope you're enjoying your afternoon and a bit of rally coverage to go along with it. If you can make it out to the finish later on in Ludlow at the race course, the cars will be arriving back there at about half past five. In the uh, second running of Hay Park. As you see Charles Hopkinson and Alan Jones through in their Mark II. Will we be crowning our new BTRDA rally champion when we get back to the finish at Ludlow Racecourse later on? It remains to be seen. Aaron Newby has got something to say about that out there with a lead of 12 seconds. Once we start getting once we start getting our times in through this stage, we'll bring you a bit of an update. Mason's on with the times, and then we'll get to your comments as well. Hello to Andy Armstrong, watching along with us. Elwin Pritchard. Good luck, everyone, from Dad's Army Marshall team. Not out this weekend, but they're back on the Cambrian. It was good to see you last weekend in Aberystwyth, with guys. For Rally Caradigion. Trevor and Christopher Ridge through in their Fiesta. To remind you, we are bringing you the story of the MRF Tires BTRDA Rally Championship. We will, of course, show you all of the crews through these stages, but that's the narrative that we're going with. Alan Dubois just pointing out that the left-hander at the top is where he went off and rolled on the Rally Nuts last year. Very sadly, another of the crews that have had to pull their entry this week. A number of people on the stream earlier looking forward to seeing Alan out. But Peter Littlefield, his co-driver, was ill on Thursday night, so they had to make the difficult decision to pull out of the rally. Hugh Hunter also pulling out on the build-up to the event. Who else did we lose? We lost a couple of others. On our way into today, Robert Goff and Paul Morris also retired, by the way, in the first stage of the day, the first ring of this Cometh Gowan stage. Frustrating for them as you see Jeremy Wells and Martin Saunders. First of our... BTRDA Historic Cup competitors through this fifth stage of the day. They stopped about a mile in uh, into this stage. Allegedly, it was um, punctures which uh, caused their day to end early. And I think Paul's now hot footing it over to Derbyshire or wherever it is that Sam Collis is getting married to Julie Weatherson today. Good luck to you guys. You might have been married already by now. And congratulations if so. Yeah, we lost the, um, the golf ah, earlier. Um, just went into the trees on that left-hander at the top, caught the bank, uh, according to Des and John here, and ended up having to get pulled out by a Unimog. Golf R versus Unimog. There was only ever going to be one winner there, and out it came. Luke Watts upholding family honours. And going well in that MGZR. The, um, interestingly, the article that Luke sent me last night he said can you refer to me as this instead of mummy's little squirt um, and <laughs> the article that he sent me <clears throat> said that he was almost as quick or not no sorry not quite as quick as his stepdad Nigel uh, I think he'll take that well today he's got a chance to put some points on the board and uh, at least take a bit of silverware and some championship points back to the Forest of Dean Roland's Motorsport watching the coverage whilst building rally cars in the workshop what are you building I've heard from Des that Steve Price is building a Metro 6R4. I hope that's not secret, Des. I'm not spilling the beans. Yeah, it's out there now, isn't it? Um, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? A Price back in a 6R4. Not sure he's build it, building it for rallying, but nevertheless, it is being built. Andy Armstrong, wishing us a good afternoon. And yourself, whatever you're doing today, tell us where you're watching from, because we do like to know where you're watching from. Andy Morris is watching from Grand Canaria. Stephen Buller asking how Elliot Payne's doing. He's 12 seconds down in second place. He was in third place until Perry Gardner retired, so he's managing things, I would say. I think that's fair to say. Paul Holmes, Elizabeth Beasley in their Mark II RS2000. Yeah, he has a championship to keep his eye on. He could take it if he takes maximum point score here today, but he doesn't need to. So, you know, there is a mature, we've spoken about it a few times, there's a remarkably mature head on, on those young shoulders in that Mango Go Fiesta Rally 2. And of course, he's got a really experienced co-driver alongside him in Tom Woodburn, who 
mixes his BTRDA commitments with World Rally Championship commitments these days. So, you know, these guys will be thinking really hard about how to approach this afternoon. Do they go all, go all out and win it with two rounds to go? Yeah, they could. But they'd have to overcome a hard charging Aaron Newby and Jamie Edwards in order to do so, wouldn't they? And is that too big a risk? Kelvin Evans, Thomas Shakespeare. In their micro, not registered for BTRDA points, but going well and showing their pace nevertheless. Talking of pace in the 1400s, um, with Nigel and Kaz Jenkins not quite having the competition around them in 1400s to push them all the way. Um, like, for example, last year when Pete Gorse and Mark Twynham took their title. Um, you often wonder, don't you, if the pace is still is still there. To have Dave Brick out today, who's one of the fastest men on these stages in and over, and uh, to be only one second behind after four stages, or three stages before they retired, I think that tells Nigel and Kaz Jenkins all they need to know. Um, really fascinating to see those times dropping in earlier. We will get to the times shortly. Uh, we are in the fifth stage of the day, if you're just joining us. This is Cometh Gowan. This is the 2023 Phil Price Memorial Woodpecker Stages Rally. And we remember Roger Allen this weekend, the man who for many years was the entry secretary, very popular member of the community.